Question and answer. Assalamualaikum. This is Q&A from your friend. Ini dia punya solution. Ini soalan dia ya. Given theta equals to 2 inverse sec 3 over sec 5. Without using calculator, find the value of number 1 sin theta over 2. So, ni dia punya, uh, dia punya solution and then dia, uh, dia minta saya check lah. Okay, so kita check sama-sama ya. Alright, so... Uh, normally, if we have uh, inverse trigo function, normally we let the inverse trigo function equals to A. Okay. So, basically, yang ni untuk soalan-soalan yang lepas, uh, betul lah. Okay. Tetapi, 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 uh, kat sini dia ada bagi given theta equals to 2 inverse set 3 over set 5. So, kita kena gunakan yang dia bagi ni. So, kita kena start dengan yang ni. Okay. Uh, kita tak guna dah simbol A. Tapi, kita kena start dengan yang dia bagi ni. Okay. So, jadi yang ni uh, step yang ni kurang tepat lah. Okay. Okay. In this case, since dia bagi dah given theta equals to 2 inverse sec 3 over set 5. So, kita kena start dengan yang dia bagi ni. Okay. So, kita kena buat macam ni lah. Uh, given theta equals to 2 inverse sec 3 over set 5. Okay, bukannya kita let A equals to yang ni. Yeah. Uh, ini sebab dia bagi macam ni, so kena start dengan yang dia bagi. Okay, after that, uh, kita ada 2 kat depan ni. 2 and then multiply by inverse sec 3 over set 5. 3 over set 5 ni inverse sec yang punya. Okay, 2 ni dia... Lain lah, dia darab dengan semua yang ni. Okay, so darab ni, okay, we can move to left hand side. So, dia jadi bahagi. So, jadi theta over 2 equals to no more 2 here sebab dah pindah ke sini. And then inverse sec 3 over set 5. Okay, after that, from here, we can move inverse sec to left hand side. So, jadilah ordinary sec. Okay, so now we have ordinary set and then theta over 2 equals to 3 over set 5. Alright, and since set is a reciprocal function for cos, so kita boleh tulis cos theta over 2 equals to, kita kena exchange numerator and denominator from set here. Okay, so jadilah set 5 ke atas and then over 3 kat bawah. Alright? Alright, now we back to the given question. We want to find the value of sin theta over 2. Okay, kita nak cari nilai yang ni. Kita dah ada cos pi over 2 equals to set 5 over 3. So, from here, we can draw a right angle triangle. Set 5 ni maksudnya adalah adjacent sebab ni adalah cos. And 3 ni adalah hypotenuse. Okay, because cos equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so kita boleh draw a right angle triangle with angle pi over 2. And then set 5 here is adjacent, 3 is a hypotenuse. And then we need to find opposite using Pythagoras theorem. So, yang paling panjang ni 3 square which is equals to 9 and then minus set 5 square, set 5 square equals to 5. So, 9 minus 5 equals to 4 and then square root, so kita akan dapat 2. Eh? Square root of 4 equals to 2. So, now we have all 3 sides. Eh? So, daripada all 3 sides ni, yang ni angle-nya adalah uh, theta over 2, ya, eh? bukannya A. So, daripada sini kita akan dapat cari sin theta over 2 equals to opposite which is 2 over hypotenuse which is 3. Okay. So, ini adalah nilai sin theta over 2. Okay. Yang ditanya ni. Equals to 2 over 3. So, inilah jawapannya. Okay. Ini dia punya step dia. Ha, yang ni kurang tepat. Eh? Okay. Biasanya kalau dia dah bagi, kita gunakan yang dia bagi tu. Okay, kita start dengan yang dia bagi tu. Alright? Okay, soalan ni ada sambungan dia. 
So, sambungan dia, uh, given, uh, tadi soalan dia, given theta equals to 2 inverse sec 3 over sec 5. Okay, without using calculator, find the values of number 1, sine theta over 2. Okay, now we continue with number 2. Okay, sine theta. Okay, we want to find the value of sine theta without using calculator. Okay, alright, from the previous slide. Okay, kita dah cari sin theta over 2. Okay, now you want to find sin single theta. Okay, so you look at this. Okay, this is pi, uh, sorry, this is theta over 2, this is single theta. Okay, apa hubungan dia ni? Okay, hubungan ni adalah double angle. Okay, hubungan dia. Okay, so since the angles is double, so what should we do? Okay, from double angle identity for sine. Okay, let's say if you have sine 2 theta, it is equals to, sorry, sine 2a. It is equals to 2 sine a cos a. Right? So now, let's say our a now equals to theta over 2. Okay? Because in number 1, we find sine theta over 2. Let's say now, a kita adalah theta over 2. And then we substitute into this formula. Okay, so we have sine 2 and then we replace A equals to theta over 2 equals to 2 sine A. We replace A equals to theta over 2 and then cos A, we replace A equals to theta over 2, right? And then we can simplify this. 2 and then over 2 here, we can simplify. So we have sine single theta equals to 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2 okay we cannot simplify 2 here and 2 in denominator here okay sebab 2 yang ni uh, dia dalam sine okay tapi 2 yang ni dia seorang-seorang tapi yang ni dengan ni boleh simplify sebab ini adalah angle for sine dua-dua ni alright so now we have sine theta equals to 2 sine theta over 2 cos theta over 2 Okay, kita sekarang nak cari sin theta. Okay. And then, from number 1, we already find cos theta over 2 and sin theta over 2. Okay. So, to answer question number 2, sin theta equals to 2 sin theta over 2. We replace sin theta over 2 equals to 2 over 3. Yang kita dapat masa cari number 1 tadi. Okay. And then times cos theta over 2. Cos theta over 2 uh, from the previous slide adalah 5 over 3. Okay. Uh, sin theta over 2 equals to 2 over 3 and cos theta over 2 equals to 5 over 3. Okay. And then we simplify 2 ni tak ada apa-apa maksudnya 2 over 1. So, atas darab atas, bawah darab bawah. Okay. So, we have sin theta equals to 2 times set 5 times 2 equals to 4 set 5. And then, this is over 1. So, 1 times 3 times 3 equals to 9. Okay. This is the answer for sin theta. Okay. Which is equals to 4 set 5 over 9. Okay. Boleh. Thank you. You can subscribe, like and share to support this channel. Bye. Assalamualaikum.